What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new AEW Unrivaled review. I do apologize for the lack of upload yesterday, man. Had, had a surgery on Monday. Don't really want to get into the details of all of that. Maybe one day I will, but I do apologize for that. And then yesterday, been like devastated with like terrible sinuses. Like my nostrils are completely plugged up. I've been coughing. It's just been kind of a little cold deal there. It's not the C word, but just been dealing with that. So I do apologize for that. But we're back here today, man. I'm going to get back on the grind. Today, we are back with a three-in-one review, as you guys can see. We do have two new first time in the lines, man. We have Kip Sabian here today in the review, and we do have Penelope Ford, and we also have a look at the brand-new Chris Jericho. Filling out that inner circle set in the prison jumpsuits, but we have Chris Jericho, Kip Sabian, and Penelope Ford. But Kip Sabian is a figure that I thought we were going to get forever ago, but we finally have him in hand. Unrivaled collection, of course. Standard gold foil packaging. You got an image of the talent on the back. Penelope Ford over there. Rest of the figures are the wave except jungle boy don't know what the hell happened there we still don't have an explanation on that hopefully we will soon but there's penelope ford you got an image of ford there name down the side number 94 another picture of penelope there very standard signature going on but you know it looks good got the rest of the figures in the wave and then of course you do have le champion chris jericho number 98 series 11 image of the guy there rest of the figures in the wave looking pretty good man but we're gonna crack all three figures out of their packaging put them on the rotating base see what we're all about get into their accessories Get into the comparison, see how they compare to the rest of the figures, man. But with all that being said, if you guys would like to grab these from WrestlingFigures.com, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I would greatly appreciate it. Well, let's shut the hell up, crack them out of their packaging, and get the hell started. So here is Sabian, Jericho, and Ford out of the packaging, man, spinning round and round. Like some stuff I see, do not like some stuff I see, which is usually uh, pretty straightforward in the AEW action figure reviews. A lot of the same issues that we've seen in the past. Some new stuff that I'm impressed with, but we'll have to get into that, of course. But with all that being said, man, let's go ahead and dive into the figures. Let's start off with the accessories, then we'll dive into it. Since Ford and Sabian are kind of a couple here, I'm just going to run through their stuff together. Put their accessories together. Very similar accessories, by the way, but let's shut off dive into the things and see what comes out of all of these figures here in the review today for AEW and Robert 11 and finish up this wave. Alright guys, so getting into Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford's accessories you know, figured I'd just throw them in together nonetheless they both do come with rubber jackets, interchangeable hands and then Penelope Ford does come with sunglasses here but as far as Kip Sabian's jacket, it's one arm's missing so that's good but you know it's just your standard AEW and Robert jacket same rubber stuff, you got super bad going all over, I mean this gimmick's pretty much gone now of course but super bad on the back you get the kip sabian logo there which is kind of cool and then you get you know the collar on there man these accessories man just over it just over the rubber accessories man i'm sick of the loose arms i'm sick of the rubber accessories i mean i'm just i'm growing very tired of seeing rubber jackets here outside of maybe the supreme line and maybe like some exclusives and things of that nature but outside of his jacket he comes with actually three pairs of interchangeable hands here you get some fisted hands which we've seen same mold and everything you get interchangeable fist hands you have your interchangeable grappling hands hands or you know relaxed hands just chilling hands kind of and last but not least you also have mic holding hands for kip sabian so you get three pairs of interchangeable hands which is kind of crazy can't believe you, you actually get three pairs i feel like that's kind of rare nowadays to get so many different hands especially with the aew figures but you do get that and then for penelope ford you also get a jacket very similar to kip's except she does have two arms on there you get the collar no you know zipper detail or anything but you do have to get the belt and the you know the sort of buckle coming off the front on the back it's plain jane it's just a solid black jacket that's going to hinder articulation i'd say it's a bit more stiff than his jacket maybe it's the same i don't know does it does it matter does anybody out there not care about the rubber accessories or do you not mind it or am i the only one that just despises these jackets i don't know you guys can let me know outside of that you do get fisted hands for your penelope ford then you get sort of your own relaxed grippy or you know grappling style hands just your relaxed hands right here no nail polish or anything and her last accessory is the sunglasses these dark sunglasses and you if you want you can plop these onto the figure you just got to line it up of course you got the two little spaces between or beside her eyes right there and you would just slide this into the little port slide those on they actually fit the figure really well and they go on pretty good so i, I actually like the sunglasses i think these are probably the, probably the best sunglass to head figure and accessory we've seen from aew so far because they fit really well and they go on really well and that i mean that i don't have any issues with that that gets the job done for me all right man so getting into kip sabian starting off the head sculpt i actually like this head sculpt a lot 
it, I think the hair sculpt's good. I think the likeness is good. Beard looks good. I think it looks just like him, you know? I know it's a bit outdated now. D doesn't he have, like, white hair now or, like, gray hair, sort of? He, like, colors it. But the sculpts are actually really good here. Looks just like Kip Sabian. I think that they did a pretty good job on this head sculpt, you know, as far as the AEW figure standards are. It looks like the character gets the job done. Maybe the right eye's a bit, you know, out of... Maybe it's out of space, but I don't think so. I think it looks pretty good. All the sculpts look good. I, You know, he's been around since the very beginning of AEW, and I thought we'd get his figure way before now, but here we are finally. I do believe we've seen this torso before, but I could be wrong. It does look to be smaller than other torsos we've seen, but he does have all of his his tats over here on the right arm, so it's nice to have a sleeve tat or a tattoo sleeve right there, which looks good. You can make out like the wolf right here. Got a little moon and wolf right there. I don't know if I can make out any other, you know, things in here, but I'm just glad to see a full sleeve tattoo. It looks good. Nothing over here. Black wrist tape on the sides. Of course, you do have your pink and purple graphics going on. You got KS on the back. It does say super bad right there in the standard black trunks. Then you do have kind of the smaller, skinnier legs. Black knee pads, which actually are open, so they are the Daniel Bryan style. Lower legs are in black, and then he does get the good kick pad mold with the rotation in there, which is very nice because we like to see the kick pad rotation. Now, as far as getting into some articulation or seeing, you know, how he poses around, he can look down good and look up good because he has a short haircut. His ab crunch is pretty good. His arms are, they make a little noise, but they're not like super duper loose. I was kind of worried when I got him out of the packaging, but I don't know, man. I just think that the overall quality of these AEW figures, like the plastic they use and stuff like that, they do need to go back to the drawing board, especially in some instances. I just felt like they're standard unrivaled figures. I mean, the legs feel good. It's just their arms, man. Their arms is really where they need to get better. Like all this is tight. It all feels good, but the arms is what I worry about, man. The shoulders get loose and the biceps get loose. I'm not getting a ton of it here. I'm just saying in general, man, because you're going out and buying these figures and then you get it and then it has a, a terrible bicep swivel like my Darby Allen does and it's all busted. That's not that's not good, man. You don't want that. You don't want that to be your reputation there. But figure comparisons, here's Penelope up next to Kip Sabian. We're going to review her in just a minute or get into the details. But this is what they look like up next to each other. I'm sure that's one of the more standard things you want to see here. But I do want to get Darby and Adam Cole in here just to compare it to the rest of the figures in the wave that we've looked at. So Kip Sabian is standing a little bit taller than the Adam Cole figure and then Darby Allen is like right at the height of Penelope Ford there I don't know if that's accurate or not I'm not entirely sure but Kip Sabian and Darby Allen are similar in stature not like identical but you guys can see he is definitely bigger than him and I think that works and again these are not the same torsos as you guys can see they are slightly different everybody kind of has their own one of one sculpt which is good but I like the Kip Sabian figure I think it poses around nice I just think that in in all I think the AEW figures run into that bicep problem the bicep swivel issue and it's just something they definitely need to look into man the, the loose elbows and the bicep swivel is their main concerns but let's get into Penelope Ford herself now getting into Penelope Ford I think the head sculpt's solid not my favorite I just think that a lot of these figures they kind of like lack eye makeup and I guess maybe it's just something they can't do quite yet but I think that her braided hair would have been good on this figure as well I think that would have made the figure look better and it would have added to to the figure a lot and the likeness to add the makeup maybe that's something that I don't know if I'll ever do that on surgery but I think that would add a lot to the figures. The female figures specifically, if you came in here and like added eye makeup, I think it would give you that likeness a lot better. Especially if they always wear a lot more makeup on TV. The likeness is going to come across better in the figure if they have those matching things going on. I think she's also supposed to have a choker necklace. You don't get the choker necklace on there. You do have like your weird stripes going on on all the gear and wrist gauntlets and the black, orange, and purplish pink colors going on on the back. I think they did cover up some of the cheekage. I want to say this was like up her butt at least at fan fest but AEW figures don't slack in that category most of the time you do have the black crosses on the back there for the back of the gear got the side gauntlets there you do have the little buckle on the right leg or thigh you get the black knee pads and then you do have the tall black boots get a little bit of green right there i don't know what that's from but the boots do rotate and stuff like that as far as articulation she can look down a decent amount hair long hair is not going to allow her to you know look up that much but she can go all the way across there bicep rotation double jointed arms which actually feel tighter than a lot of other figures. Ab crunch non-existent. You guys know it'll always come apart. You know, the women's ab crunch is just non-existent there. She can't quite do a split, but she can kick forward pretty good. Look at that kick forward right there. That's pretty good right there. You do get thigh cut. You do get double jointed knees, and then you do get boot rotation here, and you get a solid little ankle pivot right there. I don't know. Not my favorite figure, but not a bad figure. I don't think it's the best women's figure ever that AEW's done, but it's a pretty solid take. And then up next to Thunder Rosa and Britt Baker, man, 
man, this Penelope 4 figure is massive compared to Thunder Rosa, and I don't even know if that's accurate or not, but just look at this. Britt Baker's taller, but then look at Penelope 4 and Thunder Rosa. Like, look, just look at the size difference. Like, look at that head difference, man. Look at the size difference in their faces. This Penelope 4 figure is massive in comparison. Like, the overall build of the figure is definitely smaller, right? Am I tripping? I don't know, man. That looks weird to me. But we already saw what Penelope Ford looked like up next to Kip Sabian as well. Now, for Chris Jericho's accessories, we do get another baseball bat accessory. Like we saw with Darby Allen earlier in the series, you have the baseball bat. Same exact mold, same exact everything about it. So we do get another baseball bat in this wave, which is kind of ridiculous. But we've seen this multiple times before. Nothing too crazy or out of whack there. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get the Fozzy tattoo on the fist. So that's pretty cool. You get the interchangeable fisted hands. And then your other hands are actually not, they don't go together. You have the left hand that's a baseball bat or mic holding hand. And then you have the right hand, which is just a regular gripping hand or grappling hand, which we see very often with the AEW action figures. But you do have the fuzzy hand tat there. So you do know it's Chris Jericho, but pretty plain Jane on accessories, man. Not a lot of stuff going on. That, that wraps up Jericho's accessories that you get with the Unrivaled 11. Oh man, this Chris Jericho, bro. This Chris Jericho. So starting out with the head sculpt, same head sculpt we've seen probably six million times. It's not six million, but it's a lot, right? We've seen this head sculpt a lot, man. It, I mean, it has been a lot. We have seen this head sculpt quite a bit. You know, everybody knows that. We've seen this screaming expression from Jericho. At least it looks good. The hair color's good. The lightness is good. We do get this new torso here with the, you know, the, the prison jumpsuits kind of cut down in the middle of the chest. You get the rips on the side, which we've seen. On the back, it does say Jericho stony mountain penitentiary you get the tattoo sleeve which looks good with all his tattoos on there fozzy tat like we mentioned they do go all the way around you got the black wrist tape arrows or whatever tattoos on the right arm pretty kind of like loose man honestly like it just feels like all of this is loosey-goosey but that's not even the worst part in my opinion you do have the you know the the cargo pant legs or the full jumpsuit here with the black there look at this foot man this is so loose man it goes all the way around like it is i don't know what would make this better like I don't know, like, dude, look how terribly loose. Both ankles are like that. They're both like that. So it obviously doesn't fit, right? You do get the upper thigh cut and the lower shin cut, and you get the double jointed knee. However, I think what the deal is, is you're going to have to put, like, regular, maybe regular Jericho feet on here from a different figure because the figure will not stand because uh, it leans too far forward. Like, they're so wobbly that he's not going to be able to do very much as far as, like, posing around. If you try to pose him in a certain pose, the feet are going to get out on you but uh that is that's unacceptable man look at that right there that is so loose I've never seen anything more loose than that, especially a foot joint like that. It reminds me of, like, Series 1 Kenny is kind of what that reminds me of. And I want to say we've seen this foot bone before. It may be Matt Hardy, like, Series 4 feet. I don't think they're the same feet that we've seen on Jericho, right? Like, here's the Amazon exclusive Jericho. These, this foot mold's not the exact same as you guys can see. So what I may do is try to put some extra Jericho feet on here to see if that solves it. It should solve it. I bet it will. But uh, that's just, like, kind of a heads-up deal there. That that's pretty unacceptable. I don't, I don't know why they would uh, just roll with that, but I'm going to figure it out. Put some of the regular Jericho feet on here and it should fix it, but as far as your Jericho figure comparisons, here is Jericho up next to the Amazon exclusive. So we have seen this head sculpt before. This is the gear pack Amazon exclusive Jericho, which is pretty much the series six. And we've seen so many figures of Jericho with this head sculpt that I think everybody's kind of sick of it by now. Like we've seen it so many times that it's just, you know, it's like changed the record, you know, but as far as your inner circle goes here is three guys in jumpsuit all different in their own way all different molds they have not reused anything between these three which is crazy and then of course you are going to have santana and ortiz coming in the un uh, in the next unmatched series i do believe so that'll be fun but it is cool to see all three of these up next to each other i am ready to you know complete the full set even though it's been a minute and they're pretty outdated but all three jumpsuits are different but yeah those jericho feet are terrible man they really really are but i do like that you get the cargo pants again you could interchange you could do a shirtless Jericho with these pants. You could do you could do different characters. If you, you know, just depending on what size character you want in the different pants, right? You want a larger character in pants, you can do this guy, medium, and then small. That's kind of cool to interchange the pants with different characters. But I think that pretty much wraps up this 3-in-1 AEW Unrivaled 11 review on Penelope Ford, Chris Jericho, and Kip Sabian. Man, I'd love to know your thoughts on the figures down in the comment section below. A bit bummed out by some of it. You know, Jericho's feet being that loose is just unacceptable. I am going to play with that. Maybe we can do that on surgery or something. 
something with some extra Jericho feet. I think that will do the trick. You never know, honestly, to be honest. You know, you never know going into that, but we will have to find out. But the Penelope Ford, I feel like it's so damn big, but it is, I don't know when the hell we'll get another Penelope Ford. She is the chase in the set, but I just don't know when we'll get a new one for like a new formula or something like that. I don't think there's one announced for a while. And I, you know, there's like six waves we, we've already had announced and I don't think Penelope Ford's on the, on the horizon. I don't think Kip Sabian is either. So if you want Kip Sabian, this is a great figure, I think, to, to start him off in your collection. Penelope Ford as well. Chris Jericho, unless you're going to complete the full set of Inner Circle in the prison jumpsuit, completely skippable. Don't even look at the figure. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of where I am now with this figure. But that's just how I feel about it. You guys can leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, we are going to get into our random shout out. And today's shout out is going to go to Mal Ramirez or Mayu Ramirez. I think it's Mal Ramirez. Shout out to Manny Ramirez, my favorite baseball player of all time. BT, did you notice that under Adam Cole's picture in the back, it says 61821, but Adam wasn't in AEW until 9521. I didn't know that, but it doesn't shock me. I'm pretty sure like half of the dates, if not over half of the dates on all of these AEW and Rivaled figures, it's wrong. I'm pretty sure. That's at least what I've noticed. I've seen so many different people talking about the dates being wrong on the back, so that wouldn't shock me at all if that was the case, man, because that happens a whole lot, but if that is the case and you caught that in the review, huge shout out to you, man. Huge shout out to Mal Ramirez for the comment, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. Lots of new stuff coming, but that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Love you guys so much. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You crossed the line.